Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kira. I don't have an opening. Let's just get into it. I've had a friend on YouTube, so I don't know your real name, but Fossil McFossilson uh, suggested that I look into Epic the Musical, which I know absolutely nothing about. And they put together a playlist for me. So today I'm going to be reacting to the animatics, the songs from the Troy saga. So from Horse in the Infant, if this makes sense, to Warrior of the Mind. So uh, let's just uh, let's just get into it. Yeah, so I know absolutely nothing about this. Um, like absolutely nothing. I'm going in totally blind. Um, I don't really want to speak over the music, so I will pause the music if I have something to talk about. Um, so sorry for pausing, but this is a reaction video and um, I do like reacting with my words instead of just my facial expressions. So if you've been around, you, you, you know what I'm like. So horse and the infant. Here we go, Epic the Musical. Alright my brothers, listen closely Tonight we make the Trojans pay Ten years of war, they killed us slowly But now we'll be the ones who slay Think of your wives and your children Your families wonder where you've been They're growing old and yet you're still here Do what I say and you'll see them again Yes sir! Diomedes will lead the charge Agamemnon will flank the guards Menelaus will let our mates through the gates To take the whole city at large Tucson will shoot any adverse attack And little Ajax will stay back Nestor, secure Helen and protect her Neo, avenge your father, kill the brothers of Hector <laughs> Little Ajax <laughs> Okay, I mean it is fun seeing all these characters being introduced So fun, and I do like that um, I do like that starting kind of at the end there with Odysseus. Is this going to be about Odysseus? Is that kind of what uh, the epic is going to be? Is that is it going to follow Odysseus? I mean, because that's, that's worth it. I mean, you know. But so often when they tell, um, you know, tell the story of Troy, it, it, it begins, you know, <laughs> sense you but it begins at the beginning you know before the whole war so i like the idea of it right here this is going to be after um you know after 10 years of fighting anyway the beat is really sick i'm really loving it so i'm going to go back a little bit just so we can enjoy that um no so far that's this is really good where, where has this been like wh where did this come from The charge, Agamemnon will flank the guards Menelaus will let our mates through the gates To take the whole city at large Tucson will shoot any adverse attack And little Ajax will stay back Nestor, secure Helen and protect her Neo, avenge your father, kill the brothers of Hector Yes sir! Find that inner strength now Use that well of pride Fight through every pain now Ask yourself inside What do you live for? What do you try for? What do you wish for? What do you fight for? What do you live for? What do you try for? What do you wish for? Penelope is the ultimate woman <laughs> to, to, to stand. Oh man, what a what a queen. Um, obviously, okay. So this is going to be a very different take on Odysseus. So if you're a fan of Odysseus, I wouldn't recommend it. But the uh, Penelope ad by Margaret Atwood. If you're looking for a different version of the story of Penelope, that is a great great um is it's it's fantastic 
shook my world. I can't say shook, shook my world. But I love that it told the story of Odysseus from all the women uh, who were affected by him, including like the 12 maids that he ordered to be hung. It, it's basically all these different, all these different women um, putting Odysseus on trial for what he does in the Odyssey, which I'm not sure how much of this is going to get into, like, you know, is he gonna, is it gonna get into the 12 women that he hangs? Like, I don't know. Um, however, this beat is sick and I, I, I'm such a... I'm so here for whenever they start doing, like, choirs in the background. It has such an epic feel. I guess it is epic, the musical. But it's just every time when they kick, kick in with, like, so just the choir in the background, I'm just, I am there. I'm sold. Okay, let's go back to singing about Penelope, because, yeah, she's the best. Okay. Penelope. What do you try for? Telemachus. What do you wish for? I'm on my way. What do you fight for? Attack! Of what is to come cannot be outrun, can only be dealt with right here and now. Tell me how. I don't think you're ready. A mission to kill someone's son, a foe who won't run, unlike anyone you have faced before. Say no more. I know that I'm ready. I don't think you're ready. Oh. It's just an infant. It's just a boy. What sort of imminent threat does he pose that I cannot avoid? Dang, okay, so they are getting into, like, the harsher parts of the story, but that was chilling, the chilling, oh, that was chilling the way it changed to just, like, the little baby music. Oh, this whole thing is so good, and they're keeping up with it, like, the, there's just this nice beat there that's really keeping everything together. This is really well done. This is the son of none other than Troy's very own Prince Hector. Know that he will grow from a boy to an avenger. One fumed with rage as you're consumed by age. If you don't end him now, you'll have no one left to save. You can say goodbye to Penelope. You can say goodbye to Penelope. I could raise him as my own. Blood on your hands is something you won't lose. All you can choose is lose. Oh, damn, that's a good line. Oh, that's a good line. I love it how they turn his own words on him and that just the, the swirl of all the voices around him. Like it's, it's like, you know, it's like a musical panic attack. Oh, that's sick. I'm sorry, I'm going, I'm going back there. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. I could raise him as my own. Blood on your hands is something 
something you won't lose. All you can choose is lose. go back so he comes to the music again that is so cool the tree growing oh my god but also like the fact that they showed him like with penelope under the tree but then here's the like the menacing tree growing <gasps> oh what nice what nice oh man they made odysseus like really cute didn't they he's cute like he's he's, he's just cute you know you, I, don't, I don't know who it reminds me of I don't know who he reminds me of. He definitely reminds me of another animated character. But I can't think of who right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. When does a man become a monster? When does a ripple become a tidal wave? When does the reason become the blame? When does a man become a monster? Holy moly, that was well done. That, oh my gosh, just the hand letting go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so we're going dark. We're going dark. So are we going to get like the 12 hang girls and all that stuff? Like, are we actually going to get like you know, the Odysseus from the Odyssey? Or, or is it going to keep with Odysseus? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh! Damn, that was so good. I got chills like five different times. Just some from the visuals and some from the music. But that is banging music. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Okay. Full speed ahead. Hmm. Right away, there's a different feel to it. I like that. I, I, I like that. The last one was, you know, kind of modern, but then throwing in the choir. But it, it I think it kept kind of the modernity because of the beat, you know, like you... What do I want to say? 
I mean, okay, so I play or played, I don't get to play it very much anymore because there's no like good community orchestra in our area, but I played the stand-up bass. So obviously whenever we played anything, I was the, you know, the thrum, 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 you know, we're doing Dance Macabre or anything by Tchaikovsky and the bass is the one that's keeping the beat. Um, but there's a very different feel to, uh, from like the last song when there was that I don't know, the, the, the drum beat made with a little bit of the, I don't want to say synth, I, I don't want to say synth, but it's definitely not like, you know, it, it's definitely not, there were some strings, there were some strings, I noticed that, and that was very cool. Um, I'm always going to notice when there's strings, um, but, you know, it, 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 there was really kind of a kind of modern sounding beat keeping the song going. Do any of you care about this? I don't know. <laughs> But, you know, I, and I liked it because it took the, it took, you know, this very old fable and, and, and turned it into a, into a, a much more modern thing. And, and when he was like speaking very, very fast about little Ajax and all that stuff, you know, so you know, it kind of had kind of a rap section. And then, you know, there, there were very many, many, many different sections to it. And some sounded more modern than others. But overall, I would say that it was a modern song. This right away has different instruments, has a different feel. So I'm not sure where this is going to go because the last one certainly went on a journey. We'll see if this one also goes on a journey as well. Six hundred men under my command With only one goal in mind Make it back alive to our homeland Six hundred men Six hundred miles of open sea But the problem's not the distance It's what lies in between And did they cause waiting? Men. Six hundred men. men with big mouths to feed And we've run out of supplies to eat First the war on food source depleted Six hundred men Six hundred reasons to take what we can So Captain, what's the plan? Captain, what's the plan? Watch where the birds fly, Watch where the birds fly. They will lead us to land I see an island, I see a light that faintly glows Maybe there are people lighting a fire Maybe they'll share some food, who knows Something feels off here I see fire, but there's no smoke I say we strike first, we don't have time to waste So let's raid the place and... No! Polities, gear up You and I'll go ahead You and I'll go ahead we should try to find a way no one ends up dead We don't know what's ahead Give me till sunrise And if we don't return Then 600 men can make this whole place burn Now for speed ahead For speed ahead Okay, that was another, uh, another one that was so oh, very, very different. So it kind of kept the same thing. I think I heard the electric guitar in there, so that added a little bit of the modernity to it. Uh, but you know what? This is what I love about musicals, though, is that they pack so much 
in just so little time, but they managed to tell the story all the same. You know, just because of the emotion that's there in the in the in the singers' voices and the way that the uh, that the music is written, uh, just just everything. That's that's why I love musicals. I I feel like, you know, plays are great. Plays are great. But I'm always like, what if we took a play and we added music to it? Like I feel like when you do that, when you take anything and you add music to it, it it, it has the it has the effect that, first of all, it can take long scenes and make them much shorter. Or it can take a lot of exposition and make it much shorter. Uh, because things we can put into song, it just, managed to, it just manages to pack so much more into it. And what I love the most is when it takes characters and gives them more depth. Because, like, for me, you know, if you're reading The Odyssey and you're thinking about Penelope, it's like, great, he's thinking about Penelope, that's great, I would too. She's fantastic, and you don't deserve her. Uh, but you know, when you get him here, and he's you know singing about Penelope, you get it in the in the yearning of his in, of his voice, you know. And, and uh, as someone who was like a lit person and not a music person, I have so so much um, so much love for for the way that music enhances literature. Okay, so open arms, open arms. I think it's just this one and then Warrior of the Might. I only have two left. Well, these will be shorter videos, I guess. Ooh, this one immediately sounds different too. I like that. I like that they're having a lot of variety. You can relax, my friend. I can tell you're getting nervous, so do yourself a service And try to relax, my friend And find qualities Think of all that we have been through We'll survive, what do we get into? I know that you're tired of the war and bloodshed Tell me, is this how we're supposed to live? Look at how you grip your sword and I've said Why should we take what we could give? You can show a person that you trust them When you stop and lower your guard adjustment give it a try it's not that hard i'm telling you this life is amazing when you greet it with <laughs> open arms whatever we face will be fine are they going ahead and making him gay in this because you, you know i mean you know you know that a lot of them were bisexual Gay, and you, you know what? You get a bunch of men. You get six hundred men sailing together. There's gonna be gay stuff going on. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. Um, you know, I think I think killing a baby really freaked you out, man. Because if you can't take, if you can't deal with a butterfly, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I love these artists. Whatever we face, we'll be fine if we're leading from the heart. No we can light up the world here's how to start greet the world with open arms greet the world with open arms Woo! okay i am wondering um if they have with the butterfly i mean this is very this is very much a stretch but you know the idea of the um the butterfly flaps its wings and you know it causes all sorts of stuff all over the world you know the the, the butterfly effect basically uh, i wonder if they have that reference here because of what odysseus did you know y you know like it would be just kind of a cool reference or or even a motif if they kept up with butterflies every once in a while just just the idea that of of his actions having consequences let's go back a second before all the creepy eyes with open arms greet the world with open arms stay back my friend, greet the world with open arms. We're only here for food. Six hundred friends are waiting for us to show our faces. Stay back, I'm warning you. 
If we don't get back safely, my men will turn this place into blazes. See? This life is amazing <laughs> when you greet it with open arms. Whatever we face, we'll be fine if we're leading from the heart. No matter the place, we can light up the world here's how to start. Greet the world with open arms. Greet the world with open arms. My friend, I wish that I could say that I agree. But look at the way this fruit is glowing and filled with glowing seeds. It took me a while to notice just what kind of fruit they eat. It's a lotus, it controls your mind and never lets you free. That's what we'd get with open arms. Lotus eaters, I'd like to show my friend that kindness is brave. Could you tell me where there's other food to eat? A cave! A cave! You're saying there's a cave where we could feast. And where do we sail to find this food-filled cave? Thank you. <laughs> you were born to be a Pokemon this life trainer. It's amazing when you greet it with open arms. I see in your face there's so much guilt inside your heart. So why not replace it and light up the world? Here's how to start. Greet the world with open arms. Greet the world with open arms. Greet the world with open arms. You can relax, my friend. <laughs> Flower child. Flash woman. Oh! Are you, you truly fine, Odysseus? Let's just go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I guess, um, Warrior of, of the Mind is gonna be the last one from this particular saga. Uh, so I'll end it after this one, but I, I did, I love the, I, I love the way that they're switching up the, uh, the style of the song with each one. It's so much fun. It's, it's so much fun. It keeps you guessing on what's going to come next and it helps with each character who's singing it. Kind of gives you like a insight into who they are. Like Odysseus was obviously in the first one he was very, you know, angsty with the choir and the thrumming. And then there was like the 600 men which had a different feel to it. And I think that was like with the 600 men, you know, it's like... Um, it reminded kind of like Viking music, but that kind of makes sense for like a group, you know? Um, and then this, the last one was just very, you know, happy and da 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 and kind of felt like it belonged in the road to El Dorado, uh, to be honest. If we're kind of playing Miguel and Tulio roles, but here we go, here we go. Warrior of the Mind, last one. Have you forgotten the lessons I taught you? Athena! Have you forgotten to turn off your heart? This is not you. I see you changing from how I've designed you. Have you forgotten your purpose? Let me remind you. She's got a gorgeous design in this animatic. My God. Look at that. Look at... I love that. I love that she's wearing armor. I love that she's huge. Well, not huge, but like she's so much taller than he is. I love like the chain. I love, I love that she actually has like the little thing along here. I... I Oh, that's all just so cool. It's so cool. It's all going to be in this black and white too because, oh, I'm such a sucker for animation like this. Completely different feel again with the music. I don't know what to expect. Like, is every song going to delight me by being different? This is sick. This is sick. Goddess of wisdom. Master of war, my
My life has one mission Create the greatest warrior Show yourself, I know you're watching me. Show yourself, I can see you. How can you see through my spell? <laughs> I was lying and you fell from my bluff. <laughs> <laughs> well done, enlighten me, what's your name? You first and maybe I'll do the same. Nice try, but two can play this game. Nah, don't be modest. I know you're a goddess, so let's be honest. You are Athena. Badass in the arena. Unmatched witty and queen of the best strategies we've seen. If you're looking for a mentor, I'll make sure your time's well spent. Sounds like a plan. God is a man. Best is a friend. He'll see where it ends. Okay. Disappoint me. Are you truly fine, Odysseus? Let's just go. Oh, that was so. Ooh, I've got chills from that too. Warrior of the mind. Okay, so if my intel from Fossil McFossilson is correct, then um, that was the Troy Saga. Next up, the, Cy the Cyclops Saga. So I think I'll end it there for today um, before my very heavy feeded friends get home. <laughs> Someone said in a comment that like uh, other people have lawnmowers and cars and uh, Hira has orcs upstairs. <laughs> Anyway, let me um, scoot over to the middle so I can talk to you guys, not from, not from over here. Okay, middle achieved. Okay, so this is very cool. I love how the music style is different for every song, but like each song has managed to give me chills at some point or another. The animatics are super cool. I'm wondering why the heck I haven't heard of this because this is so my kind of thing how have i not like gotten into this before and i guess i i have to look into like how this even came to came to came to be because the mu like did people just like write the music and and then people made the animatics for it because why isn't this on stage these songs are so good. Why is there? Why why can't I buy my tickets to go see Epic the Musical? Or can I? Is it is it also on stage? <laughs> like, the, but this is so good. The music is top tier. I love that they're getting into more of the intricacies of uh, the Odyssey. Because so so often people are just like, well, you know, Odysseus he was the really smart one, or they'll know enough about like you know 
him trying to play dumb, and but then he wouldn't, like, you know, run over his baby in the field. And um, and they'll know that he was the one who came up with the Trojan horse idea. They'll they'll know about the Odyssey kind of. They'll they'll know about uh, Polyphemus. They'll know they'll they'll know, they'll know about Cherche mostly, I think. But um, at least they'll know about the pigs, I think. And then they'll know about him getting home and having to fight for Penelope. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I don't talk to people enough about, like, hey, what do you know about the Odyssey? <laughs> um, I'm glad that they're getting, like, other characters in here and stuff, you know? And especially, like, the, um, you know, because the gods play such a huge part, I'm really waiting for, uh, for if the next one is, um, is the Cyclops saga, then I'm really looking forward to Poseidon kind of showing up because I feel like that's going to be really, really cool. Anyway, um, this is super fun. So thank you for uh, recommending it to me and I'll be putting out uh, more reaction videos to the other, um, the other groups, the other mini sagas within the saga. Um, yeah, I... I think once I've watched the whole thing, I'll be able to do a more, like, comprehensive takedown of all the songs and, like, how they help with the characterization and all that stuff. But while I'm still just at the beginning, I can just talk about how the individual songs made me feel. Right now, the, the one that definitely gave me the most chills was, um, was the horse and the infant and the, and the just the man. Like, just the man especially was so cool. Um... But the others also are also fun, and I'd be really into them getting like darker and slower, especially darker, as you know, as ten more years starts to drag on, you know, because they're pretty, you know, they they've got a beat that's pretty hoppy, you know, jumpy, do 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 do, you know, it 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 goes, you know, at a pretty good pace. Even the stuff with Athena is at a pretty good pace, cause you know, I mean, it hasn't been ten years yet. Uh, but I'd be really interested in seeing, like, things get to kind of sluggish and, um, you know, really reflect the fact that it's taking so long to get home, you know. I I'd be interested in seeing that reflected in the music, um, to see if they do that. And because I think that that would be a really cool way of reflecting just how long it has been without characters having to go, Oh my gods! It's been 10 years, how are we still sailing? You know, because again, so much can be conveyed through music that doesn't require, then, then you don't need, you know, the dialogue to say all that. Then you, you can get their, their weariness and their just absolute doneness with the situation from, from the music. I don't know. I'm excited to find out more. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for, um... <coughs> Sorry. Um, thank you for watching uh, with me, and I will. I, I hope you're doing well wherever and whenever you are, and I will see you later. Bye.